The memorable moment TV BAFTA award was given to Paddington Bear having tea with a late queen during the Platinum Jubilee, party at the palace celebrations on the BBC. Accepting the award, actor Simon Farnaby, who played a footman in the video thanked the queen for her contribution. She had a very joyful jubilee tea that day, he told the audience. The person who most deserved this award is no longer with us, we can only accept it on her behalf and say thank you, mum, for everything. As those who worked on the moment took to the stage to accept the gong, a CGI Paddington Bear could be seen clapping in the audience. Paddington Bear visited Buckingham Palace for afternoon tea and the Queen produced a marmalade sandwich from her handbag. After the Queen's death in September, mourners left Duddy Bears and marmalade sandwiches among the floral tributes which amassed outside royal residences. The moment beat off competition from Dairy Girls, Heartstopper, and Stranger Things. BAFTA TV Awards viewers were in tears as they praised the moment for winning the trophy. At Schiavo123 posted on Twitter, Oh that had me in tears seeing the Queen hashtag BAFTA Vawards. At Ms. Bajini added, Hashtag BAFTA Vawards what a beautiful speech. I'm so glad Paddington meets the Queen one tonight thank you mum for everything. At Angel Addo 7825927 shared, Well done at Paddington Burr and the Queen, definitely well deserved. Hashtag Baftat Vawards. The nominees this year for TV Moment are formidable. I'll always be on Nick and Charlie's side, fighting Hashtag Heartstopper Corner, but you can't argue with the Queen and Paddington winning. Hashtag Baftat Vawards, commented at underscore D4 Nedison. Don't miss! Eurovision fans blame music mix for UK's May Muller second bottom place, insight, Rylan forced to step in as Alicia Dixon makes Eurovision blunder live on air, latest, the UK has been dealt crushing blow hours before the Eurovision final, odds, actor Ben Whishaw, who voices Paddington Bear, was later honoured as leading actor for his performance in This Is Going To Hurt. On stage, the 42-year-old actor said, Oh goodness me, I really didn't think that would happen and I love so much the actors in this category. Ben also said everybody in the show is just mind-blowing and most of all thank you, Adam K, for writing this wonderful role. He added, I'm very humbled, and blessed. The biggest winner of the night was arguably Claudia Winkleman after she took home the gong for entertainment performance for the Traders while the BBC series also won the award for reality and constructed factual. Bad Sisters, Derry Girls and I Am Ruth all scored two prizes at the BAFTA TV Awards. Here is a full list of the winners, female performance in a comedy program, Siobhan McSweeney, Dairy Girls Reality and Constructed Factual, The Traders Short Form Program, How to Be a Person Specialist Factual, Russia 1985-1999, Trauma Zone, Daytime, The Repair Shop, A Royal Visit Sports Coverage, UEFA Women's Euro 2022 Male Performance in a Comedy Program, Lenny Rush, Am I Being Unreasonable? Entertainment Program, The Masked Singer Supporting Actress, Anne-Marie Duff, Bad Sisters Current Affairs, Children of the Taliban News Coverage, Channel 4 News, Live in Kiev's Single Drama, I Am Ruth Mini Series, Mood International, Dahmer Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story. Features, Joe Lysett vs. Beckham, Got Tour Back at Christmas Drama Series, Bad Sisters Factual Series, Libby, Are You Home Yet? Single Documentary, The Real Mufara Comedy Entertainment Program, Friday Night Live Soap and Continuing Drama, Casualty Live Event, Platinum Jubilee Party at the Palace Entertainment Performance, Claudia Winkleman, The Traders Special Awards, 
David Olasogapi and O. Cruz's memorable moment, Platinum Jubilee, party at the Palace Paddington meets the Queen's supporting actor, Adil Akhtar, Sherwood leading actor, Ben Wishaw, this is going to hurt leading actress, Kate Winslet, I Am Ruth scripted comedy, Dairy Girls Special Award, David Olasoga Fellowship, Mira Sial 2023 BAFTA TV Awards are available to watch on BBC iPlayer now.